The Perth market is showing its strongest signs yet of a recovery from five years of dogged downturn, with Hotspotting's Autumn 2020 survey finding 51 suburbs with rising sales activity, and that's up from just 34 six months ago. So let's get into the details with the Perth property market update. G'day guys, my name's Tim Guest and welcome to our market update video series where you can stay up to date with the markets that matter and find out what's happening in your local area. Now please remember to like, comment and share this video and if it's your first time tuning in, don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you're seeing this. Now in the five years since Hotspotting has been conducting their quarterly surveys, there's been only one other quarter with more rising markets in Perth. Now this occurred early in 2019 when Perth appeared on the road to revival before it was snuffed out by the impending federal election, the Banking Royal Commission and overwhelming media, media negativity. Now the recovery in the WA capital is back on track with the city's middle market leading strongly in some of the first home buyer markets starting to show vitality. Three precincts stand out as the leaders of the revival, the municipalities of Stirling, Joondalup and Wanneroo, which jointly have half of Perth's 51 rising markets. Now, these areas have been among the most resistant to the prolonged downturn, and it's not surprising to see them at the forefront of the upturn. Hotspotting's founder, Terry Ryder, previously commented that the Stirling local government area had been a Stirling performer and bid Perth's down market. And now it's the leading precinct in the recovery. Hotspotting's autumn survey had identified nine suburbs in the Stirling local government area with rising sales activity and numerous others with steady demand. The suburb of Dinella, with a median price of $555,000, has lifted quarterly sales rising consistently from 99 to 126 over the past 18 months. In the north of the city, regular leader Joondalup has eight suburbs with rising momentum. Now, Joondalup is consistently among one of the most resilient of the Perth markets, boosted primarily by excellent infrastructure and a cluster of good suburbs with attractive pricing. As an example, quarterly sales in Hillary's have been consistently rising from 47 to 63 over the same 18 month period. Nearby Wanneroo is also one of WA's leading population growth areas and a provider of new suburbs and housing estates which attract young buyers. The evolving suburb of Alkamos has recorded quarterly sales consistently rising from 32 to 46 over the past year. Now close to the city, but in the south, Coburn continues to stand out as a solid performer. It has six rising suburbs and seven others with consistent buyer demand. One precinct that is usually prominent, but currently less so is the Melville local government area. It currently has three rising suburbs and there has been a noticeable fall off in some of the more upmarket suburbs in this precincts. So median prices have dropped in million dollar suburbs like Applecross, Bicton and Ardross and all down around about 11 to 16%. Ryder says though, we're starting to see some revival towards the bottom end of the market. Wanneroo has lots of these types of suburbs and as already discussed is one of the market leaders. Rockingham's local government area in the south, which is not featured in any major way in these reports over the past couple of years, is now showing signs of rising. Other affordable precincts, however, are yet to spark life. Local government areas like Canning, Gosnells and Armidale have lots of plateau markets where sales activity is steady but below the peak levels. And as yet, no rising suburbs. And prices remain down. Now overall, Perth is showing strong indications of recovery in terms of sales activity, vacancies and rental growth, but it is yet to translate into widespread uplift of prices. Now only 22% of suburbs have recorded annual growth in the median house prices and just 30% of suburbs had had annual increases in median apartment prices. The areas where the best growth has occurred are largely middle market areas with the Stirling local government area particularly prominent. Sterling suburbs, suburbs, I should say, with annual median price growth well above average for Perth include Corrine, 6%, Woodland, 7%, and Inglewood units, 9%. But the market leader is Wembley Downs, up 16%. While prices are still dropping in down market areas like the local government areas of Canning, Gosnells, Quinana, and Armidale, examples include suburbs of like Armidale, Cannington, Gosnells, and Medina, which are all down between 11 and 15%. Well, guys, that's it from me today. Remember to like, comment, and share this video. Don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you're seeing this. Also, if you want to submit a question or there's a topic you'd like to ask me to discuss in more detail for our next Just Ask Tim video series, there's a link in the post to do that as well. Stay tuned later in the week for The Wire, the week in real estate, where you can get all the top stories happening this week in finance, real estate, investment, and more. Apart from that, guys, have a great week. And remember, there's only one thing in life that makes a difference, and that's action. Thanks a lot, and see ya.